James here with Construction Hacks. Uh, we're gonna show you guys how to use these new end phase inverters. So here's a, an end phase inverter. It's just this one simple box and it has connectors for your solar and then it has a trunk cable connector. Now, it seems pretty technical from a distance, but uh, once you put this in and screw it down to your rail, your 220 trunk connector goes in here, okay? And you wanna make sure the wires are running the same way. Your solar panels will connect into here, okay? So, uh, and then your, your, your trunk cable will come down into your junction box here. And here's one trunk cable right here. And that's just gonna hook up to 220, okay? So you got your breaker right here and you got your trunk cable right here. So it's a 220 volt, 240 volt system, okay? So these will get wire nutted together like this. You always want to pull on your wires once you get it nice and tight. You want to make sure that that neither of your wires will slip loose. Okay, and then another one right there. Okay, and then you have your number number six ground wire right here that comes up, and this number six ground wire wire will run into your rails, and then you'll have a bare copper wire that runs runs up and down your, your rails. So, I hope this helps, guys. One quick tip. When you're putting your end phase inverters on, draw out a blueprint of their serial numbers so that you, if you ever have an issue with one of them, you don't have to rip everything apart to find that one. You have a blueprint of your serial numbers. The serial number is right here on the edge, the bottom edge right there. You, you draw a map of your solar panels and you put the serial numbers of each inverter. So if you ever have an issue, you can see it on your app. Oh, that one's not working. You know exactly where it's at. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.